Hey, yo, what is up? I'm trying here, doing another commentary, and this is some MW3 gameplay, and it, no, it's not good at all, because I'm just shit at this game, but I get more kills than I do deaths, and I do not get tied up and anally raped, so I mean, that's a plus, right? You know, I still have my dick and all that, so, you know, you can't complain. I don't even know if I win, but I think I do, so... Or we win. Don't need to be selfish, Trent. Uh, you know, I was the kid that when we played dodgeball, even though I sucked ass, we won. And I was like, wow, I won. That was awesome. All the bitches must be getting wet that are playing gym with me, even though they're like 10 and they have underdeveloped breasts. But <laughs> today, I want to be talking about maybe a little business plan. You know, I'm thinking that um, you people can benefit from this and... Um, Real quickly, once again, or um, a little side note, I am trying to quack scope in this gameplay, and I'm not too good at this game, so I mean, I don't know, it goes alright, I guess, I don't know, hopefully you'll forgive me, but let's get into this business plan, so the way I want to do this is a little bit interesting. So, you know, some people, they decide that, you know, they want to be a lawyer, or they want to be a therapist or something, and in all honesty, I'm thinking a sex therapist may be a perfect career choice for me. Um, I just think it'd be hilarious to talk to people all day about sex, and just hear that guy being like, oh, well it went good when she let me choke her and shove my dick four feet down her throat, but now she said she doesn't want it and I beat her every day, what do I do? I'm just sitting there laughing my ass off as opposed to calling security. Because you know there's just people like that and it's like, well I want to strap a bear fur coat to my penis and then fuck her brains out with it. And like, how do you even respond to that? I guess you just say, maybe you should consider locking yourself in a room for a few years and see if that helps. I don't even know what to say to that after a certain point. But if that doesn't work out, I have a pretty interesting business plan. I'm thinking it could work out for me. So let's get right into it. Now, the way this is going to work is it's, it's going to involve some few kidnappings. And, you know, normally this would be illegal, but when it's for a good fucking cause, no one complains, you know? Like, if... Like, for instance, if they were strip, uh, skinning babies and uh, sending that to research for cancer, no one would fucking complain. I mean, think about that shit, man. It's for the fucking better cause of America, you know? Fuck that shit. But anyways, so we kidnap some children, right? That's the first thing on our list is to kidnap some children. And after we kidnap said children, I mean, people are going to wonder why their children are missing, right? So we need to do something about that. So basically, we just take a few whiskey bottles, get a little crack in it so it's seeping out a little, and we just forcibly shove that whiskey bottle up the person's asshole. And then after that happens, it'll slowly leak out, and then they'll just get drunk, you know, just some hardcore liquor straight up their ass. They get drunk, they don't know what's going on, so good for us, right? So we're good on that situation. You know, we don't have to worry about them wondering what happened to their children. So then after that, we decide to take said children. And you're like, how are we going to make money off of children, right? Well, this is where the creativity comes in. And honestly, like, I should have majored in art or something, despite the fact that I'm not even in college yet. That's too fucking bad. You know, I'm going to go to college early. I'm going to major in art. And I'm going to draw some beautiful portraits of the way the world is in my life and my business and fuck that guy. But how this is going to go down is I'm going to take these babies, right? And I'm going to climb up a big tree and I'm just going to put a sack of babies in a tree. You know, they'll be hanging there like monkeys. Maybe I'll give them a banana or maybe I'll just mushroom stamp them on the face and go on with my life. But all I know is that these babies are hanging in a tree like a fucking monkey. They're probably shitting on themselves. Like, every shit just fills up higher and higher until they're literally swimming in their own fucking feces. I may give them a floaty if I feel like being a generous person. Other than that, they can fucking molt in there if all I care. The sun will probably bake them. They'll get all hard. They'll be trapped in there even better. You know, better for me. You know, this is working out nicely. I didn't even think of that. So, you know, good thing. Good thing. I can up this business plan just by talking about it. You know, present this. If anyone wants to uh, invest in stocks, by the way, from what you hear so far, go ahead and uh, fucking look me up. 
and uh, invest in my stocks and get some shares and then the next thing you know we're all making some some dough yo but um anyways these babies are in trees and then as soon as around the time their parents comes around I just light these trees on fire you know I douse it with gasoline I might piss on it you know I light that bitch on fire with my fucking birthday candles because I can't afford a lighter probably but um <laughs> I light this tree on fire Oh man, if any fucking FBI agents ever somehow come across a video of mine, all I know is that you're not going to be hearing from me anytime soon, because it'll just be a whole bunch of tasers and fucking, I don't know, ha hammer and nail to the nuts until I fess up about all the legal shit I've been active in. But, but anyways, I, um, I would take said babies that are lit up. They're, they're, they're about to get lit on fire, right? The fire's going up the tree. The parents, they're scared. They're like, what the fuck do we do? And I'm up in that tree already ready, and all they know is that they see me rescuing the children, right? And everyone else does. You know, I just rescued a baby. I'm the hero of the town. Maybe the world, you know? I'm shaking hands with the Barack Obama and eating some fucking fine fucking prime rib after that shit we're drinking some fucking booze and me and obama are and we're both i mean I, he's fucking michelle and i'm videotaping and it's just one crazy like porn filming time because that's what obama's been to apparently but <laughs> after that <clears throat> excuse me but after that and i save the children you know I'm pretty much the hero. People are just giving me money, like, out the ass. Of course, I sell the children on the black market afterwards, you know, so they can be used as, I don't know, like, trophies or something. Someone wants to just put them in a metal display case or some shit like that. But, um, that's cool, you know. I guess whatever they want to do with them, it's cool. Like, I'll make them sign a contract, though, like, you know. Because, you know, no one hurts babies, you know. That's a terrible thing. Just kidnapping. No hurting. So I'd make them uh, sign a contract or something that's probably completely false and they wouldn't adhere to anyways. But afterwards, and I get all this fame, I mean, I mean, is this not the best plan ever? I mean, the next thing you know, I'll be fucking gold statues of horses, and I mean, why? Like, why the fuck not? Like, you have money, you might as well fuck a gold horse statue. Have anyone else ever fucked a gold horse statue? I don't fucking think so. Like, talk about that, some fucking revolutionary shit. I guarantee I'm the first in the fucking world after that shit happens. Ain't no one been fucking golden horse statues before me. I set fucking trends, bitches. The fucking, you know, the fucking people had those little fucking silly bands or whatever, and someone did that shit, someone decided to wear that shit. Next thing you know, everyone will be fucking gold horse statues, and, you know, the world will be a better place, you know. Pure cancer everything else, I don't even know, things could go, you know, we could go places, all I know, but anyways, after, and I'll have my gold horse statues, you know, I'll, I'll skin a tiger, because, you know, I can hunt wherever I want, basically, so I'll skin a tiger, and I will make nipple guards, in case anyone in the future wants to try to fuck with my nipples, you know, I can guard the shit, I'll be a better person, you know, save the world, make money, kidnap children, I mean, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this and you can understand where I'm coming from. I mean, I hope this made you a better person and a smarter person. And I'm sorry for any emotional damage I may have caused through this commentary. But thanks for watching. Um, more great videos to come. <laughs> or should I say more shit videos to come? Because you know I fucking suck. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for support. All that good shit. Subscribe for more videos. Like and comment. You know, ask me anything. Tell me anything. You know, whatever. That's always good. Thanks for your support. And that's all I have. Hope you have a great fucking day. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.